This is it, the final day of practice here at Sandown for our celebrities before they head to Albert Park tomorrow to race in the Mazda 6 Celebrity Challenge in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Now today is all about mock racing and it's going to be the first opportunity our celebrities get to experience what it's like to race the Mazda 6 in their full racing getup. We don't know what's going to happen, they haven't raced before, but we've got cameras everywhere. We're not going to miss a thing and we're going to be bringing it all to you. Matt, tell us what's been happening this morning at day three of driver training. Uh, racing definitely got real, that's for sure. We, uh, we went from obviously laps by ourselves yesterday to, to 10 out on the track this morning, so it's going to get interesting from here on, I think. It's amazing how the whole group dynamic has changed because we're in race mode now and people are becoming competitive and they're looking for the edge over each other and they're wondering how that person got by and, you know, I'm going to get him back next race. So it is seriously game on now. I was thinking I was going to use the paddle shift um the beginning getting all girl racer but it's actually uh, fantastic in order so we're not going to use it it's one less thing to think about i guess tell us what just happened well i kicked some serious butt i was going kind of my my pole position wasn't great and then i decided that i'd come up the left when we first started and overtake uh, mag and um, Jess Graves, and over, over Emrociano. <laughs> it's actually kind of scary. You need really good judgment. You've got to have massive awareness of what's going on around you because everyone's trying to overtake. And if it's something that you're not familiar with, it's way out of your comfort zone. The car is fantastic. I mean, it's a, quite amazing uh, what it'll actually do. You know, its braking ability is fantastic, its acceleration is great, and, and the way it sits on the road, you know, you get on the back straight and you're flying up the back straight here, and you look down the speed and think, oh, actually, I really am flying, and it feels really comfortable and in control in the car. Yeah, Magdalena and I had a bit of an incident this morning. I overtook her on a corner and she, she got quite upset with me, but, you know, it bodes well for me to live up to my end of the bargain. I was doing pretty well, I was getting into a pretty tough corner and I was going to take it and Hamish comes in out of nowhere, takes me on and the thing is I didn't even know who it was, he's shifty, you got to watch out for Hamish. It was a bit of a uh, demolition derby this morning, there was a few uh, smacks on a few of the laps, I, uh, I got uh, bumped into by Wayne Cooper, Jonathan and Chris Tarrant had a bit of a collision and uh, we all got red flagged after that. We go around the Essies which ain't particularly an overtaking spot and he come up the outside, I braked and he just kept going and went smack straight across the side of the car and took my wing mirror out. I'm glad Hamish crashed again, because you know me and him rubbed over there and he hit the wall. So who's the worst driver? Vanessa Amorossi. She's one to look out for. Chris Hoy's still a man, yep. Uh, and I always thought he would be because A, he, he's passionate about cars, he knows cars, he knows racing. And he is also, he's got that, that chip in his head about um, race strategy. Behind me, the celebrities are finishing up their final practice laps here at Sandown before they head to Albert Park tomorrow to take on the Mazda 6 Celebrity Challenge. Now, to make sure you don't miss out on any of the action, check out our website for all the details. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and for all our videos, check out our YouTube channel. As you've seen from today's video, there's been lots of action. So if you're in Melbourne, make sure you head down to Albert Park to check out the 2013 Formula One Rolex Australian Grand Prix for yourself. But if you can't get there, Channel 10 will be covering it from every angle for you. And we'll see you at Albert Park. Yeah.